Hello, board members. How are we doing this fine, fine Tuesday afternoon? But it is, in fact, Action Tuesday. So we're going to be jumping into Dredge. Um, last week, we were supposed to go into the Mangrove area and do Mangrove stuff. But we got distracted doing side missions like helping out the cult members and trying to catch some specialty fish for the cult and someone else. I think we were trying to do some of that, too. So... Today, we have to focus on the mangrove thing. I have to go into the mangrove and figure out what's going on with those biplanes and that giant, like, weird mutated snake-looking thing that's been attacking us. So that we can, uh, figure out what's going on here. Okay, where are we at? Oh, yeah, I've got, oh, I forgot. We have all this treasure also. I don't know what this mortal, the mortar barrel is for. It's not treasure, so it's got to be a key item. Same as this one. Yeah, so it's a key item. I'm assuming it's going to be relevant here somehow. Encyclopedia. Oh, yeah. Message in a bottle. Feels like years since I've been warm. I did not expect to, him to write. I just, I just need to know that he thinks of me from time to time. The next few lines have been smudged out. He must return. More angry smudging follows. I have written him another letter. This will be the last one. Odd. Unknown date and time or who's even talking on that one. Deep sky, deep sky, deep forever. And this is interesting because this is under Fisher under notes and not messages. Five equals rise, he knows. Basket seal broken, fog core? Casket seal broken. Deep sky, deep sky, deep forever. I'm wondering if that's gonna be like new play plus stuff or what? I need to catch a barrel eye and bring it to them. Oh, figure in purple. So we're still missing the barrel eye. Right, we tried to do that last week and we could not catch a barrel eye for some reason. Uh, it looks like we're already in the mangroves, though. Yeah. Yes. Um. Oh yeah, we left the the we left the crab pots out in the deep deep water to see what happens. Yes. I remember that now. And I think the purple purple guy is on one of these two islands. What did I leave over here? I don't, oh no no I think I think we're done with that one I think that was the yellow cult member I think I think that's the yellow cult member all right but apparently the thing we're looking for is here in the middle oh did I grab oh, I didn't grab any explosives we got to take some explosives with us or this isn't gonna work we need them explosives team We got to have the bomb. We have a set up, set us up the bomb. Man, there's probably nobody here who knows about set us up the bomb. Does anybody here know about that? I just realized that no one probably knows about set us up the bomb. Now that I think about it, no one probably knows about set us up the bomb. All right, team. Okay, there's that thing way over there. Okay, that's actually not that far away. Oh, hole damaged. Okay, what kind of fish? Oh, we've caught these before. Yeah, it's a tarpon. It's nothing new. Oh, come on! Okay, we've got to head back and get this prepared first. I don't know what is going on, but my boat does not want to cooperate with me right now. I think we're too fast. Gosh darn it. 60 bucks to repair this. Um, sell this. 
Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Yeah, this boat might be a little too fast for how narrow this area is. A gar, okay. Ah. Oh. Some garfish. Ooh, that's a... Okay, that's not okay. Grinning gar. Muscular gums grow and force cracked teeth against each other. Cracking teeth against each other. Softer flesh tears from the strain. Gross. That's gross. That's not okay. Okay, so there's an arrow pointing over this way. Oh, it's just treasure. That's a very easy treasure. Okay. Can I blow this up? Ooh, and it's a message in a bottle, nonetheless. Looks like there might be a back way in, though. Let's save the explosives for now. Just see where we end up. Wow, that is very hard to do with this boat. It's so fast now. Hello, camp. Uh, a large man is watching you through the billowing smoke of a campfire, idly carving away at wooden stake. He stands as you, as you pull ashore. Stranger, from the look on your face, I'd say you encountered the local wretches. Take a seat. You join them by the fire. I've been trying to rid them from this accursed jungle ever since we wrecked here. The boys called them the mind suckers on account of them, well, affecting the mind. May the see things do things. I'd ask for a safe passage away from here, but not until after I've been avenged my squadron. What happened to them? A number of us went down in the fog, crashing into trees or ditching it into the water. Those that survived rallied here under the, the burrows of this giant tree. But it offers a scant protection before, we, before help could arrive, our numbers quickly dwindled, picked off by the fiends and the forest. I met a few would-be rescuers over the years, but none would help me in my fight. Are you different to the, than the rest? I can help. I figured to be up for it. You, you have the look. Listen up. First, we need to find the lost pieces of my squadron's mortar. Oh, we have the barrel for that. Well, then use that to bombard the beasts. Other plans... Other planes went down to the north and east of where we are now. Mark the possible crash lights on your map. You go and see what you can salvage. Hmm. What am I supposed to be doing? Are there any shipwrecks around here? Shipwrecks? No. Anything that meets its end here is quickly solved by the silt. Hmm. Tell me about the mine suckers. Devilish creatures through and through. They'll stalk you along the waterways and emerge suddenly screeching their terrible song. The first time it happened to me, I saw shadows of my squad mates reaching out to me in a feverish dream. When I finally snapped out of it, I was covered in bloodied scratches. They must have been they must have sent me running through the foliage. Since then I've done my best to avoid the fiends. Their sense senses seem to be based on movement, so move carefully. Great. And I'm in a super fast boat that I have a hard time controlling. Of course. How will you honor your squad mates? I hung a few of their dog tags up on the tree behind me. It seemed it seemed fitting enough. But I've only got tags for the ones I... You must understand, I never found all their bodies. If you happen to find any of their dog tags, I could add them to the tree with their brothers. I have a number of mechanical doodads that you might find useful. Here, take this one. In good faith. Okay. Uh, why are you wanting the dog tags again? What am I supposed to be doing? Okay. So he wants me to go find... Oh, I can access my storage here. Nice. And we can give him all this stuff then. And I can take that out of here and that out of here. Sweet. How are things going? Uh, I found some dog tags. Let's see. I don't know how many it needs, but... Uh, done. I... Thank you. I'll hang them on the tree. Here, as promised. Wow, really? That's all of them. That... That I can remember anyways. I can't picture their faces too clearly anymore. Hmm. Uh, I found the parts of the mortar. You found one component, but it's still missing a piece. Nearly there. Keep looking. Okay. Okay, so it was just the three dog tags. Oh, 
All right. Fair enough. Come on. Oh my god, the packed explosives fell off. Son of... Like, I seriously want to go downgrade the boat right now. Oh, it's the thing. I seriously want to go downgrade the boat. It's too fast. Okay, fish market. $279, nice. Take that. 30 bucks to repair, though I don't get my freaking stuff back. <sighs> Take this, please. Thank you. Let's see. What do I got left to research? That's done. That's done. I've got nets and I've got rods. I guess we can get this rod. Ooh, I can buy one and that'll be enough to get us the last little bit. Harvesting platform now available. Research rods. Research all rods. Cool. Um, okay, it is a six by six. Coastal, shallow, and oceanic. Ugh. Um. Oh. Interesting. So it would cover. I could replace this then. That would only leave me two down here. So what we would lose, I think six, two here. Because this is five. Man, that's really frustrating. Well, I guess if I... No, because if I put six over here... Yeah, there's no way for me to do both. Coastal, shallow... Yeah, we don't have a bizzle or haddle on anything else, right? I guess, yeah, the only advantage of this is just the fishing speed. Yeah, peak efficiency, okay. I'm not worried about peak efficiency. All right, so, wait, did I sell the fish? Yes, yes I did, all right. So now I just need the mortar part that's apparently back here at the back. Let's go see. Uh, let's snag this. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna wait on fish for the moment just cause I'm assuming this other part isn't gonna be much bigger than the last one. Oh, it's getting late, though. Ooh, abyssal fish? Give me that abyssal fish. That is not an abyssal fish. That's an abyssal fish. Scale swollen into large clustered pustules. A golden liquid sh shimmers from within. Gross. How about no? How about no? Like I said, I'm not super worried about the fish. Oh, we got wood. I think all I need is this metal. What's that noise? Uh, what? So that I can go through here and then stick to the right. Is this it? Ooh, there's a thing in here. Okay, okay. Nope, these are just catfish. Which I think I've already caught the... I think I've already caught the meated form of a catfish. Well, maybe I haven't. There it is. I guess I hadn't, okay. A night wing. Hooked a bar 
bar barbels hooked barbels seek out prey in the twisting mangroves a once sluggish fish has fish given haste upon crimson fins weird okay what is this um oh i must have done it already i can't interact with it okay yeah that one's done Okay, we need to stay. On this side. Ah, there we go. Okay. Oh, that's actually not too big. All right, cool. Pursuit updated. Okay, scrap metal. I think that's the last thing we're missing. I think we needed like four pieces of scrap metal. That's all we got. That's all we got. There's him. Ooh. Oh, we don't have enough madness for this. Okay, there's a lore note right here then. Okay, so there's a lore note. Let me place a marker. Um, I guess question mark we'll put a question mark on it for now we'll have to remember to try to come back with a bunch of madness okay so it responds to movement ah okay that's interesting. Oh, that'll just get us a piece of metal. We don't need that. Why are you here? I don't need this from you. I'm assuming this will tell us the origin of whatever this creature is. Wood. Fish. Ooh, we're gonna get one more piece of metal. One more. Oh, it's a research part. Okay. Fair. I think we're back at the entrance. Oh no, this is one of those abandoned camps. Well, there's you. I think that's the direction we need to go, it looks like. Yes, yeah, over here. I thought. I mean, I know he was behind some stuff. This area is so narrow. It says this way. I thought I heard a, the splash of the monster or something, but. I don't like the creakiness of the wood. I don't care for it. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Airman. 
How are things going? I found the part of the mortar. That's a that's the lot. Now I was working on assembling the mortar. You can get started on the next phase of the plan. May have noticed some contraptions in the lagoons around here. I assembled these traps for the mine suckers. We just have to lure them in there. Once they're in, you see I can fire on them with our new mortar, and that'll be the end of them. No more nightmares. I'll mark the location of the of the traps on your map. Uh, how do we get the mine traders in? They're attracted some very specific types of bait. Your skills will come in handy here yet again. Have you got everything? Uh, is it safe? Of course not. Have, ever, have we got everything? How did you make those traps? With patience. The creatures only seem to sense movement, so when everyone was close, I froze. Okay. I understand. So what's next? We need to make the three special baits from different combinations of fish. Okay. What's the first one? This one takes three fish. Oh, okay. Is this this? It is. Okay, cool. Okay. I don't have all the fish for that bait yet. Come back when you've got the rest. If you don't... Uh, okay, let's discuss the bait for the second one. This one needs two fish. Ah. Okay. Locked out. That should do. I'll just mix these in here. Load this into a trap. Then we'll get well clear for it. When the trap springs, it'll fire up. I'll fire upon it with the mortar. Make sure you bring back proof that the thing really dead. Thing's really dead. You hear? Okay. You know anything else about? Uh... Let's discuss the last one. This one requires two fish. Ooh. Okay. I don't have whatever this is. This looks like some kind of eels. Okay. That's fine. Come back when you've got the rest. Okay. Where do I put the bait? In one of the traps I've constructed in the lagoons. They're marked on your map. Do you want to know anything else about the baits? Uh, that's all for now. So for the first one, I needed one of the uh, the garfish, and then for this one, I needed two kinds of eels. Okay. That's fine. I don't know if I'm allowed to start these missions. Oh, I might as well blow this up now to get that message before I lose it again. The debris crumbles away. All right. Cool. What do we got? Uh, message. Goldsmith and Son, number 27th. Or number 27, Little Morrow, December 26, 22, 1926. Receive the sum of $50.00 in, in exchange for one silver necklace with emeralds on silver mounting. Additional notes. Received a further $3.00 for custom engraving on reverse of mounting. Customer to return tomorrow, 23rd of December, for collection. Engraving is... Is to be as follows. For J, my shining star. Oh, Okay. So, like, the necklace or something? Might be referring to a part we haven't gone to go get yet. Can you use... Ooh, garfish. It's one of the ones we were missing. It's fine. Huh. Is this just nothing? I guess it's just nothing. Okay, we do need these eels. Ah, there's some. Ooh, those eels are actually pretty big. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. I'm quietly sitting right close to the air. Uh, nothing happened. Okay. Wait, are we yet? We're... Oh, there's another one. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, we'll have to get some madness together and come check these out. Okay, that one looks like it's just straight up a shortcut. Wait. Wait, what is that? There's like a... 
There's also a giant monster fish in here. Uh, okay. So there might actually be... Hold on. I got to mark that on the map also then. There's, there's another kind of giant monster here. Oh, look at that. It's in its own area. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, I'll label it with this so we know that that's what we need to bring back here. But it's swimming around that capture point, so maybe we can catch a giant fish? I mean, that would be interesting. Uh, I can't fit that. Uh, where am I? Oh, okay. We're down. On, we're outside now. Okay, cool. Okay, so we've got two lore points. And some kind of other giant fish to catch. I wonder if it's one of those... I talked about this last time. I wonder if it's one of those giant freshwater monster fish... I can't remember what they're called that you, I, I, they, there's a show on, I think it's, I think it's History Channel about it. Okay, I need all of this. I need floating dock, I think. Perfect, look at that. Look at that, that's exactly what we needed. Awesome. And we're done. We fully upgraded the boat, everybody. Or at least for now. I didn't get an achievement for that, really. Well, call me surprised. I would have thought we would have gotten an achievement for that. Okay, so the only thing left of research for nets. Okay. Uh... Probably gonna do this then. I'm kind of okay. We're gonna need this. I wonder if we need special equipment for catching that giant fish. You know what I mean? Like, he needs special equipment for catching some of the other giant stuff. I'm just wondering if that fish is similar. I think I like that better. Hmm. I don't know, I'm torn on how to do this. I mean, technically I could sell all this, right? But maximum boat? Yeah, we're maximum boat now. We're the boatiest boat that boat can boat right now. Fishing speed is 344? Dang. Okay, so trap the mine suckers. Still need that barrel eye. Okay. And those upgrades just happen. I don't have to pay for those ones. Or uh, I don't have to bring equipment for those ones. Okay, so I want to go over this way. Come in from this side. Ooh, what do we got for Madness Fish? Ooh, Madness Eel. Ooh, and a prize catch. Oh, come on. Oh, man. Ugh. Let me see if I can. There's not really a more optimal way to do this. Oh, wait, 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 maybe. Ah, we got one more, okay. There's the monster. We just don't move. Required just a little bit of madness, so I don't think we're crazy enough yet. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to blow this open while we're here. Just because I want to know what this giant fish thing back here is. Okay, but I want to clear up space before we do that, because, yeah. Okay, there's one of the traps, I'm guessing. Okay, it's up here and then on the right. Oh, there's something here at night. Okay. Oh, it's just more of the eels. Okay. Hello, airman. Let's talk about those baits. First bait, please. One of these. That should do it. I'll fix these in here. Second buckets. So this is the, the last bait, which is the double eel bait. Trap. Springs, I'll fire upon the mortar. <sighs> That's it for now. Let's talk about the baiting the traps. We need to make three special baits from the different combinations. Oh, okay. Alright, so now we just gotta go blow up these mine suckers. Let's just go blow up a couple of mine suckers. That's what they get from messing with a veteran. This area looks kind of weird. Uh, okay, so down here and then to the right. I'm very curious to see what this is. What just happened? Oh, the ominous music kicked in like something bad was about to happen, so... Submit it over the water. A small reptile is floating underneath. Load the train. Load the bait into the trap. You should probably move away. Oof. Okay. Is that the plat? Yep. Pursuit updated. Okay. Inside the obliterated corpse of a mine sucker, the airman will be expecting proof of your success. Uh. Oh, okay. That's it's pretty big, but it's not impossibly big. The rest of the carcass sinks out of sight. All right. Minus one mine sucker then. Uh. Now the problem becomes: Do I have room to get all three of these at the same time? Actually, I don't think I will. Huh. Not with the eels. We're going to have to go sell these eels. Come on, where's the... This area is extremely confusing. So, I got to go straight. And so I hit a dead end, and then make a left, basically. Okay. Okay, left. Okay, there's that. I don't want to do that until I clean up my inventory. This is this one's probably the e well, I would say yeah, this is pretty easy. So far, that first one was still seems like the hardest. Go. Because that one actively would chase you. These ones haven't been such an issue. From the water, a small. Oh! Uh. Well, that's not what I expected to. I didn't expect him to pop up right there. We can still get him watch watch him get blasted though. Nice. Our main motor is damaged. And we snag one of these. 
Versus sinks out of sight. All right. Just overload it with demon power real quick. So we can get back over here, get that repaired. Mm. Only 30 bucks. That's actually a pretty good deal, to be honest with you. And then we gotta go up here and make a right and then a left. Okay. And then we can go find out what that giant fish was all about. So, okay, we make this first right. And then to the left. And then I think it was on this right side. Yep. Because, I mean, if we can kill the main threat here, that means coming here and catch the... You... You... Ow. See, I thought it was going to pop up behind me again. Nice work. He's a good shot. And the last one of these we need. The rest of the carcass sinks out of sight. Fine with that. Fine with that. Uh, oh, yeah, we don't really need any more of that stuff, huh? Okay. Oh. Oh, this is just the this is just the one that leads to that piece of upgrade metal, which we don't need the upgrade metal anymore. We're fully upgraded. <laughs> We've evolved beyond upgrading. What? <laughs> We've upgraded beyond upgrading. What does that mean? Oh, we've evolved beyond messes. No one here but me and Advanced Lamp would get that joke. No one but me and Advanced Lamp. Right, Airman, create a corpse to show you. Let's see it then. You've, you hand the tattered lump of flesh to the Airman. It's almost unrecognizable, but you both know it couldn't have belonged to anything else. He pokes at it with his knife, testing the rubbery meat. He seems satisfied. Yes, this is one of the beasts. Progress at last. More to go, though. Oh, we have more? Up on the ground and gives it a few slashes with a knife. It wobbles a little. Another one taken care of. One remains by my account. Let's finish this. Oh, you have more? You dropped a large, bloodied carcass in front of the airman. His eyes filled with sadistic delight. He bends down and plunges his knife into the soft flesh. It falls away from the blade, revealing a glint of metal. The sickening Terry rustles it from where it was embedded in the flesh of the creature. He holds it aloft. He recognizes it as a necklace. Glistening in gore. Well, fisherman, some, f some fortune at last. This ought to fetch a decent price for the right collector. Here, why don't you take it? Ah, oh, that's the necklace we needed. He sends back from a corpse. A melancholic look comes over his face. And now, well, that's that, I suppose. Hmm. What will you do now? I can't say for sure. I thought I'd be asking you for an escort away from this place, but does it become somewhat of a home to me? Also, what happened to your arm? doesn't feel right to leave my brothers here. I think I shall stay a while longer. In the meantime, I can make up some special bait for you. It ought to help with your fishing. What? Here, this was left over from the other bait we made. A small portion of bait can be used to attract all manners of nearby species. I don't know what that means. Ability unlocked. Bait. Toss bait overboard to attract local species. Right, now, can we make... We can make some fresh stuff if you like. I need some fish for you first. Any type will do, but the more you give me, the more bait I can make. Oh, okay. You didn't give me enough fish, so I can't make up any bait for you. Hmm. All right. Bye, then, I suppose. Nice talking to you. We have bait, team. I don't know what that means. That, I was going two miles an hour. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Alright. Alright. We gotta get out of here and get the boat repaired. For my boat sinks. Unbelievable with this. Alright. I don't have any fish, right? No. Okay. 90 bucks for repairs. Stupid boat. 
Right, let's go catch this giant monster fish that was over here. Since, I mean, we don't have anything to worry about now. Let's see. Oh, do I have enough madness for this? I don't think I do. Okay, nothing. Maybe catching this giant monster fish will give me some madness. Oh, this isn't it. Uh, no, we want to save as much space as we can for that giant fish. Just because I have no idea how much room it's going to take up, but it looks huge. Oh. There's multiple weird giant fish here. Uh... It's a giant alligator and a giant... something else. Uh... Disturbed water, you say? A goliath tiger fish. Fearsome, fearsomely predatory, this gigantic fish is also one of the most aggressive. Its teeth are so large, they punch holes through the opposing, their opposing jaws. Oof. Well, that's brutal. Oh, it's a treasure item. So do I not need to worry about that giant alligator thing? I guess? I assumed I was going to catch that giant alligator thing, but I guess not. Maybe, maybe it's not considered fishy enough for the fisherman club or something. Um, okay, so this... Well, I can leave it on there just in case. Alright, so I guess that takes care of basically all of it? I feel like maybe I didn't go over here much, though. Oh, well, we went this way to go blow up the one trap. Maybe I just go check over in this? Because I think I did these islands. Yeah, it really feels like the only thing we're missing now is um, whatever the legendary fish is from here. Like the super rare one. And I have no idea how to invoke those. Absolutely no idea. Okay, straight across. I'm just looking for anything that doesn't look like a fish we've already caught. And this is just debris. Really? Nothing over here, huh? Catfish. Oh, that must just be his dock? That looked really weird from that angle. Like, it almost looked like... Okay, yeah, that's just his dock. It almost looked like an eye or something. I was like, wait, what? Just an eel. That's just the metal thing. Huh. Oh, this looks different. Ah, oh, it's a surgeant fish. I didn't think I'd caught those any of those in here. So yeah, the only thing we're missing now is just the the rare fish in this area. Oh, that's just stuff. I don't know if a night or day thing actually affects that, though. I don't remember if we caught the last one during the night or during the day. But hey, being able to just go around freely and do whatever I want is real nice. And not having to worry about getting attacked by stuff. It's probably the niceness of the no combat mode or whatever they called it. Or no host hostility mode or whatever. 
Though I'm curious how that works with like madness and stuff. See, like this looks like a special area. But there's nothing there. Nothing. Okay, that's done. It makes me wonder if like if I use the bait under there, would that trigger something? Like this seems like a good spot for fishing, right? Like Let's see, what does this bait thing do? Throw bait overboard, who knows what will turn up. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Eh, nothing special. So yeah, it just forces a a fish spawning spot. Which isn't terrible. Oh, random fish show up though. It's not a set kind of fish. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's nifty. I guess if you just want to evoke random bits of fish from the area. Which sometimes I do. I wonder how that works with... Um... What do you call it? Like the rare fish. You know what I mean? Like... The super deep sea fish or whatever. I think I can catch a couple of these. I can catch one of them. Yeah, let's go sell this giant Goliath thing. I'm not really worried about the madness right now. What's this? Oh, well, actually, I can grab a couple of these. They only take up two spaces. Why not? One more. Perfect. Okay, let's go around the grove. Should probably go check my uh, crab nets. Where, oh where... Is the sail lady? Ma'am? I go the wrong direction? No, I might have took the long way of getting there. I don't know how much madness I need to be able to access those. Um, like info points. Oh, there we go. Very curious about that alligator, though. This is gonna be something. Okay, so. Wait, was. I don't know, catch a rare fish. Ah, okay, here it is. The Goliath tiger fish is one of the ones she wants. Okay, I probably need to talk to her then. Okay, um. Tell me about Twisted Strand. How much, to be honest, I've gone inside just the once. I sailed into the lagoon behind us and saw a couple go left. So I could go left, right, or straight ahead. Mm. Something about this place seemed off. Through the fog, it looked like the trees were moving? I can't explain it. I turned around and sailed right back out. I sometimes use this spot to rest up for a few days. The sunrises are particularly striking through the haze. Never do any regular business here, of course. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about? Uh, the rare fish you wanted. Uh, I have found a Goliath tiger fish for you. It's great news. I'll add it to my record. Here, take this. I'm sure you have some use for it. Maybe? That smell. The kind of smelly smell. The smelly smell that smells. Smelly. <laughs> yes? It's the uh, nematodes. Nematodes. Nematodes! Nematodes! I'm about the orphanage on a long, fragile body. I expect they live in... Reasonably deep, but calm water. Maybe the shelter of Gale Cliffs would suit them. What about the other fish? Yeah, I never found this one. What about coelacanths? Actually, I have no idea where coelacanths might be, but they have a prom primordial field to them, don't you think? What about the other fish? That's it for now. Okay. I'm good. 
Uh, fish markets. Do I need any of these? Oh, he doesn't... Wait, this is rotting already? Oh. Well, that sucks. That's frustrating. Um, okay. Nice. Oh, we don't have any more. Wait, 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 wait. I bet I do. I bet I can. I do. Haha. -ha. Take that, my own face. Bam. We need four more research points and we'll re research everything. Ooh, the madness is high. Okay. Okay, so we got two of the four super rare fish that we need. Abyssal. And Abyssal. Okay, so these are both super deep water fish. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, oh, here. We can put that in there. We can put this in there for the moment. Yeah, well, we got some madness. Let's go check out those two points. Uh oh. My lights turn themselves off. Uh, okay, so there's one in here to the left. I don't know how safe this is, but we're kind of doing it anyway. Wait. Why is this blocked off? What? Uh, what now? Oh! So they do actually, honest to god, move. Oh, okay. Oh, probably because my madness is up. I bet because my madness is up. Yeah. The stone travels before you. Unknown symbols glow. Price your hand. The sun chill rushes through the marrows of your bones, surging up your arm, your, your neck. A deep vision enters your mind. A parasite burrows into a large snake-like carcass. It feeds, growing fat and multiplying. Tendrils sprout from the head of the body and sense the water around it. The host corpse shudders reluctantly. With a cry that re re resounds through the forest, it rises once again. Oh, okay. So it was some kind of creature that took over a snake body. So I need to go over this way. Uh-huh. And then I need to go this way. Um, plant? No. Well, you know what? Can I go that way? I can go that way. I guess that would be more scary if I was being attacked by the... Nice. A blistered tarpon. Scales given way to a bubbling flesh. A surface sweller s singled out and cleansed by the sun. Ah. So, uh, it's mostly just straight ahead. Uh, just a catfish. So it should be over here. Ah, yep, right here. Let's tremble. Unknown symbols written. Place your hand. Sun chill rushes through the marrow of your bones. A deep vision enters your mind. A man flees through the trees. Bloodshot's eyes wide with terror. He runs into a dead end. Cornered by the murky waters and his pursuer, he turns. A wooden spear flies and finds its mark. Okay. Ow. <laughs> well, that was unfortunately timed. Ooh. Catch of the day. Um, huh. I don't know what that's... It sounds like his weird story about his... Oh, wait. It's the alligator thing. Like, its mouth is glowing. To me, that implies... Something's going on there. But I can't capture him, so... I don't know. I don't know what to, what to think of that. Take that. And one of 
those. And one of those. Perfect. All right, we can get out of here, team. I think that's basically it. So we did this. I might leave those. See, it just feels like there should be something kind of more over here, too, but... I didn't see anything else. And we did do, you know what? Well, we have this. We did this one. I don't even have that much madness left. I'm surprised the plants are still actively against me. I'm gonna go over there and see if I can find anything. Because, I mean, we found the planes and stuff. Maybe they're figured that with the planes, that counts as enough of, like, stuff. You know? Okay, that's landlocked. It's always interesting with the whole, like, I'm seeking vengeance for, against an enemy for a wrong, but I don't barely remember what the wrong even was. What's this? What was that noise? Oh, it's dolphins. Oh, that's fun. I think we've maybe seen them once before. We usually run into whales. Our madness is gone, by the way. Yeah, there's that. Yeah, I guess we're good. We'll go sell this fish and we'll go check our crab pots and see what happened. We can go drop off uh, this this uh, necklace. Oh, oh, oh. Don't hit the island. Don't hit the island. It's a big island. We should be able to miss it. Grab some repair money. There's a non-zero chance we're gonna need it. Okay. Okay, it's a little further down. Oh, yep, yeah, right there. I don't think we've been hit by lightning yet, have we? I think we've come close, but I don't think we've been directly hit with lightning. Okay, I don't think I need any of this. Four hundred fourteen dollars, nice. Those giant, giant boat really working in our favor, team. Okay, I don't think there's anything I need to buy. Did I get? No, I have no research points, but you might sell something, right? So I think we only need four more research parts to finish this up. Okay. All right, so we just gotta go get our crab pots for right now. Oh, wait, did I check these islands? I might want to go check those islands. I don't remember if I checked these islands or not. I mean, it's the middle of the night, but we have mostly full sanity. I'm not that worried about it, honestly. Oh, it's the it's the monster boat. It's the monster boat. Wait, are there two of them? Wait, what was that other thing I just saw? Wait, what's this? Oh, it's just a crashed boat. Oh, it's a crab monster. Never mind. It's like, wait, I don't remember their. Wait. Oh, no, it's not? Wait, what's this? Oh wait, is that just her? Oh, it's just her, but from like across the bay, okay. Yeah, so we've seen, oh, we are actually completely insane right now? I didn't realize we were that insane. Um. So we've seen the, the monster fake boat, right? We've interacted with that one before. 
Oh, this is just the fake crab. Okay, the crab boat. Catfish. That's why I haven't seen that before, because I haven't been over here. Oh, what is that? A... It was just like a shark. A giant shark attacked us. Uh, okay. Well, that sucks. I haven't seen the giant shark before. Um, okay. Giants. Oh my god, what is that? No, 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 no. No. Oh god. Okay, so apparently instead of Kraken, the, when we're really crazy, the plants will attack us. Okay, we're back. We're back, team. Ow, all my limbs, all my bits. Ha. I've had a day. Remember when I talked about getting the fish to have some repair money? That's what I was talking about right there. Let's do a little bit of research and our madness. Maybe we'll just we'll just rest up a little bit. There we go. Let the madness flow out of our sleeping bodies. Like it do. Like it do. Um Okay. So I'm trying to think. We had a plan for this. Anger and sadness <laughs> equals French. Your pronunciation butchers our beautiful language. <laughs> what is that from? That is not what I was expecting. So I could put... I think these are two of the only ones that are more efficient. Put that up into three. That would be two. Yeah, so this is more efficient. So I think what we need to do is we just need to take this off and buy a couple of these. We need four of these, and I think that'll be about as fast as we're gonna be able to get the boat to go. I think. Because... That would be 52. 52 and 26 would be 78. 78.8 with 19 would be 97. That would be 97 if we did it that way. We're currently at 93. Yeah, so I think our best bet is going to be to fill the rest of these with... Um, with uh, uh, jet engines, I think. Because the 5... The 5 and the 6 are actually more efficient per per square than the jet engine is. But the jet engine is more efficient than any of the other squares. I think. Because four, four times nine is 36. And then another two on top of that, it would be at 38. We're only getting 36.8 out of this. So this is slightly more efficient. Three times nine is 27. So that would be more efficient than this. 18. 18, 18. 5 times 9 is 45. And this is 5 for 52, so this is going to be more efficient. And this is 6 for 67, which is more than 11 per block. So yeah, these two are more efficient. This one is just slightly less Dear efficient. Dear man, why don't you solve your own problems? That's I'm actively doing that. All right, so yeah, we're gonna un uninstall this. I'm just gonna swell. Can I put this? We'll put it in storage. And then um, I guess it doesn't really matter. 
right? Oh, you only have one at a time? Oh. Well, but I didn't realize that was the issue. Okay, so this one's still slightly more efficient. I thought I could just buy as many as I wanted, so we'll just attach that for now. We'll get another slight upgrade. So we should be over, yeah, we're over a, over 100 knots per, per minute or whatever. Um, okay, so I think we're good then, right? There, that. So we still need, we still need the, the coelacanth and the orc fish, or or fish. And we need a barrel eye for the purple cultists. And we can go turn in this relic. Yeah, let's go turn in the relic, or uh, go grab the uh, crab pots. And then we can go grab, we can go turn in the relic. I mean, I feel like we're moving pretty good. I mean, I mean, with the boost on, we are hauling. Oh my god. Oh, there's our crab pots right there. What do we got in open waters? Ah, oh, we've seen those before. Let's go see what we caught at the deep water. Ooh, what are these? Scarlet prawn. Okay. Apparently there's a bunch of crawfish down there. Did not expect that. Ooh, a bunch of, okay, more. Trophy caught. And, okay, so the, at the low end of this is nothing but uh, prawn. Found in the depths of the most ocean, swarms of them can consume crabs and other small fish. All right, well that's a new one. We didn't catch any mutated ones though, which is Way unfortunate. Out here in the ocean, death going deep, deep, deep. South Park says Randy Newman. Okay, I guess if you say so. <laughs> I don't know what that was. That's fantastic. Okay. Um, I guess we'll just head back over here and sell this stuff and then come back. Yeah, we are definitely moving now, team. Leapfrog01, welcome. Yeah, I've never heard that quote. I mean, I haven't watched every episode of South Park, so it makes sense that I, I would have missed some, but that doesn't even sound remotely familiar. Okay. And I suggest you let that one marinate. <laughs> I, sh I, shouldn't, I shouldn't eat it right now, fresh off off the griddle. I was going to eat it fresh right off the griddle. I wasn't even going to give it time to rest or nothing. Dang, we are, we are speed. All right. All right, fishmonger. What's up? It's only $300 worth of fish? Man, that's that sucks. That sucks right there. That sucks right there. Hi. Nice. I'm going to need another one of these, please. I barely caught, covered the costs. Oh, God. I found a harsh one? Oh, no. <laughs> what does that even mean? But also, Leapfrog01, welcome. Keep talking. Someday you'll say something intelligent. <laughs> that is never going to happen. Not as long as I'm the, the primary host of this live demonstration. That's never going to happen. Can confirm. But Leapfrog01, welcome. I assume you're a big fan of... Uh, of Dredge. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm really enjoying it. I can honestly say I look forward to Tuesdays just to be able to play something this nice and relaxing. Like, I'm having a, a, an absolute time with this. Cannot complain. Having absolute time. Uh, yeah, I'll just throw these out right now. This harsh one? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, so now I need to go more left. Just gotta go pick our pot up. Oh, this is the fake island, right? 
Yes, this is a fake island. I was curious of what this is actually going to turn into. Is it just a full mirage like the last one we checked on, or does it turn into a monster? Oh, it's just a madness. Okay. Dang, we can almost outrun those now. Oh, I still need to be going this direction, though. Whoa. We hit the afterburners. Ah, oh, there it is. No, oh, get away from me. I don't want any of your stinky madness clouds. Stop it. Oh, we got in a... Nice. We got it right at the last chance there. Do I have an abyssal one of these? I don't know if I have an abyssal one of these. That abyssal prawn. Keep the change, you filthy animal. What? Wait, where's the... Wait, did you... Which one did you play? No, no, no. You gotta play the one out of my channel. The one that actually has the... That has the... Oh, no! Uh. You gotta play the one that has the machine gun in it. We have that as one of mine in this channel. I don't know if it's free. It's like a thousand points or something. But it's not expensive. Oh, I'm going the wrong direction. There should be one in there that's something like that, like, keep the change. Oh, I don't like these birds. What are these birds? What are these birds? Oh, the birds are coming to steal my stuff. Oh. God. What? Whoa. Whoa. 10k points? That might be it. That sounds about right. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. There we go. Wow, we were fishermen. What is it? You look like a touch of trouble. Is the fog starting to get to you? Completely normal around here. Nothing to worry about. With a good night's rest, you'll be right as rain by morning. Thanks. Well, it's 500? Yeah, yeah. They're not expensive. All right, so they didn't steal my good ones. Okay. Gnashing teeth are the only hint that the withered body still holds life, an urge to bite that persists in perpetuity. Leeching prawn. This tiny parasite ra wraps away the flesh of whatever it attaches to. Its hooked legs ensure an enduring grip. I'll take that. Thank you. Um, We do need repairs, though. 58 bucks. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do I need... Uh, no. I need... Yes. One more of these. Put it in storage, then. But yeah, that's that's the good one. Okay. We got a, we got a wee touch of the madness right now. But it's daytime. It's fine. And catch some sharks. Let's go. Let's do a little shark fishing, shall we? Really? There was only one? Is that stuff? Oh, I didn't think I would find any more stuff. Aw, oh, get some mana rays. Or whatever they call them in this. Stingrays? Honest to God, stingrays? Ooh, mutated one. Shard array. Grabs some. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh. Oh, a golf flounder. Okay, odd. Ooh, can we get some cod? Cod for all the little weird angles? That's as good as I'm going to do with the cod. Something slithers into your cargo hole, and that's not surprising. Oh, they got the, the prize cod. Makes it worthless. 
Unfortunate. Truly unfortunate. Um, oh, it hasn't respawned yet. That's unfortunate. Okay, so with the mangrove done... My disappointment is immeasurable. Yes. And my day is ruined. <laughs> That's also fair and probably true. Uh, pick up. That's that's fair. Oh yeah, we can go turn in some of these crabs to this guy and get some new colors for the boat potentially. I forgot about that. Wow. <laughs> yes. Wow indeed. Fabrica, let me see. A neat design. Do you want to attach it now? No, oh, thank you. Uh, just bunting. Change flag. Paint. What to paint? Roof. Uh, the roof? Paint the roof. Uh, sharp mint? I don't have the right pigment to make that color. You'll need to bring me these crabs. Oh. There, how about that? <laughs> A different color, perhaps. What? What? You can return to these... What? Oh, do they have to be purple? Oh, they have to be... Yeah, it has to be purple. Ah, uh, they got me, team. They got me. Okay. What else do you got in here? Ooh, royal purple. The pigment. Ooh, I haven't seen one of these before. Imperious lobster. The entangled crab I think we've seen. I don't think I've ever seen an imperious lobster before. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Oh, you know what? Actually, I take that back. While we're here, um, this is all this stuff. Sell a total of fifteen hundred dollars worth of trinkets. Oh, he needs oh. some milk. What? What do you need milk for? He needs some milk. What? What do you want me to do about that? Oh, the dock worker looks. Uh. That dock worker does not look okay. The dock worker is standing motionless on the edge of the dock, staring down at the water. He seems paralyzed by fear of what he sees. What's wrong? He stares ahead in silence. You stand with him for a while. Occasionally, a tremor shakes his body, and his breathing becomes labored. Are you all right? He's not able to respond. Drink. He strains, clenching his fists. Eyes shut tight with the effort. A tear rolls down his cheek. What happened? You notice his neck and overalls are covered in dark fluid. The same dark fluid that was leaking from the package you delivered earlier. His body relaxes suddenly and his eyes snap open again. They are cloudy and expressionless. The fluid rattles through his lungs. A drop of dark ooze falls from his ear and lands on the dock. It slips between the boards and disappears in the water below. What was that? The trembling head turns ever so slightly toward you. His breathing grows heavy in anger until you step backwards, leaving him standing there on the dock. Wow. The dock worker standing motionless. Okay, I can't do anything else. So the thing we delivered, like, took over his mind. Not surprising. Okay, nothing else from you. Oh, yeah, research points. Not worried about that, really. Okay, so... All we gotta do now is go drop off the necklace. Oh, and I guess sell the crabs. Did I pick up the nets? Wait, did I? Yes, I have all three of my nets. Okay. Come on. I don't know why this is so slow sometimes. Really blows my mind on that. Okay. Let's go, uh... Let's go talk to ye old trinket master. Down here on the south. Down here on the south end. Oh, trinket master. I bring for you yet another trinket. Have ye need of said trinket? You enter the house carrying the ornate necklace. The collector recognizes it almost immediately. An excellent find. It demands pride. It's. It demands pride of place in my collection. He sweeps aside some scraps of dusty table ca capable. Candle wax pulling in its corners. He places the necklace carefully in the, in the clearing. And it's supposed to be demanding re repen 
recompense as well. Once more, he opens the books, just dust pouring from the pages as he reads aloud. You begin to feel weak, but you're rooted to the spot. Knees on the verge of buckling. And he finishes speaking, you feel blood rushing back to your lungs. A strange feeling of power grows in your chest. We're so close. One more remains. I loathe to suggest it, but the abyssal plane on the approach to Devil's Spine is a likely candidate. See what you can find. I'll mark a location on your map where you can bring your where you can bring begin your search. Anything else? What do the words do? The books hold power from the deep. I merely extended its power towards you. Is there one in particular you wish to know about? Uh, atrophy. This phase fr phase instantly culls the closest school of fish, readying them for swift reaping. It can be heard from a di great distance, so you need to not be close to your victims. The population is likely to recover from such vile trauma. Use it sparingly. What you know about? No, that's fine, I guess. How do you know where these relics are? I largely don't, but I read the seas. I see the swells that give shape to the formless. I hear the waves that whisper secrets to their their witnesses. And I speak to the currents that hold in a memory of all they claim. Anything else? Are you human? Your inquiry is met with a piercing gaze. Why, of course, as human as you are. Anything else? Okay. Can I get into your workshop yet? I'm trying to look as though it doesn't even press take. Go inside. It's locked. Budge. Maybe that's the final unlock or something. I would really like to get into your uh, your workplace, please. All right, so. So, we only got one place left to go. I still need a barrel fish. Which sucks. And I still need the the, the the Mun Mega Fish from here. But this place is going to keep attacking me. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch that one. Okay, so I'm probably good to remove this. Um, good to remove these two. I'm pretty much, I think I'm basically done with everything up there. Only thing left to do is I think the purple guy who's out on this island, I think? What time is it? I've got about an hour. So wait, what is this? Reap the corpses of any fish in your sights. Long range. Oh, okay. So... Oh. Oh! Black tiff reap sharks are different. That's a different kind of shark. So it just instantly picks up the fish, but it also, I'm assuming, causes it not to respawn right away. That's got to be the other kind of shark we needed for the shark stone. Oh, and a brood squid. What state has the smallest drinks? What? Mini soda. Okay. Random dad joke. Oh, we just got attacked by by this thing. Well, that sucks. At least our engine's in okay. That rock tried to get me, team. You all saw it. It jumped right out at me. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go sell this one. We got two different kinds of mutated squid. Okay. So. Mini soda, huh? I could go for a soda right now. My, th my throat's a little sore. What? No, not... Uh, I wanted to sell the squid, not the healthy shark. Ah. Hopefully the, the statue will take the affected sharks. Man. Oh, good. Sayonara, sucker! <laughs> okay, so put that in storage. Take that out of storage. It's nice of her to uh, work through the night for us. There we go, team. That might be about the fastest we can go. We might have re reached maximum capable speed at this point. 
that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so... Where was the shark one? Maybe the shark one is this thing? This has got to be the shark thing. That's probably why I left it on there. Okay, so we just got to go south. Very far, so far south. Not get hit by any kind of weird, random... Uh, giant, crazy monster fish. Or madness clouds? I'd like to also avoid the madness clouds, please. Wait, what's that? Oh. Is there something on this little island? I don't remember that. Oh. There's like a campsite? Oh, the photographer. This is where they're at? Oh. Okay, well, I better... Oh, there is an island here. Oh. Dang. All right. Hi. Um, hello? Sorry, would you step out of the way for a moment? You're in my shot. Move to the side. A few seconds later, the photographer sighs and ex... Exasperation mutters to herself. No, this simply won't do. What's the matter? Angle of this lens is all wrong. I'll never get a close-up shot of anything with this. And the others... Fear they were lost overboard. She sighs again and looks off to the west. I was sailing for a stellar basin, you see, squeezing my boat through a narrow gap between two islands. Then I crashed into some coral. I thought I heard something in the water behind me, so I dared not stop. If you were able to retrieve the lenses for me, uh, let me see. For much through what she, what few belongings to survive the trip. I have a spare camera here that I won't need. You are welcome to it. If you can find those lenses. I'll mark on your map where I think I lost them. Oh. Did, oh, okay. What? I have returned. Zane was banging his head against the mega booty final boss. Oh, okay. Um, ma'am? Did, did you mark it? Maybe it's the one I already found, so it's not marked. Uh, is it, hold on, is it in my storage? Uh, rest, research. Oh, I don't, I can't access my storage here? Oh, well, well, fudge. Fudge and biscuits. Um, where's the? I guess over here is gonna be the closest. Let me go drop this shark off. Cause that's the yellow colt guy. What was that noise? Almost sound like a yapping dog. This module is making some weird noises. Where'd he found the dog? We did done did the dog stuff. Did did Zane manage to defeat the final booty or what? Here's the shark. Okay. Slide the four sharks into the fissure and they slip down out of sight. Moments later, you spot something rising. Ooh, okay. Solve all fish shrine puzzles. We're done with it, team. A, tra a traitorous device crafted in the deep. It will raise its, its kindred to the light. He did, although it was quite close. Ah, there's a nail biter. Uh, oh, right. I can't, I can't put that on anything that isn't open. Okay, cool. So we finished, we finished all the, the fish puzzles, which is good. Oh wait, while I'm here. Okay, so we can move this now. Awesome. Let me go grab. Wait, he wouldn't happen to be like a barrel fish, would you? Nah, it's a, lo it's a loose jaw. Okay. I mean, this is where we need the barrel to get the barrel fish. Don't get me wrong. Dang, that's a full-on sunken old full-size boat. Dang. I guess I've never noticed how big that thing is before. All right. A lot of wood around here. 
Nothing. Nothing. Frustration. Okay, I think she's over there. Wait. Oh, there we go. It's like, wait, I don't want to see the tentacles, but it's just... It's really hard to see them during the day for some reason. That's odd. You happen to be barrel eyes, would you? No. No barrel eyes during the day, I guess. It says that they're available during the day in the book, but... I think those are... Yeah. Those are going to be loose jaws. Those are going to be... Nope. That's not what we're looking for. Back again, throwing my face at this stupid thing. All right, let's grab the photographer stuff now that we know where the photographer's at. Any day now. God, that takes so long. All right, there we go. So, Viscera Crane. Plus 94. So really all this adds is, is the aberration bonuses. That's really what's what, what's getting added there. Oh, I guess that's all of them? Sampling device. And those are engines. And there is our... There we go. Look at that. There we go, team. There we go. Fish is... I'm surprised there wasn't a... a... Probably let me find a good place to drop them. I know. Yeah, photography equipment. I'm really surprised that we never... Oh, the sun's starting to set. Fudge. These barrel fish... They're haunting my dreams. I need to catch them. I only need one. I need one barrel fish. For a stupid cultist. Okay, that's... That's the squid. Have to be a little careful here. I don't want to get attacked by the... by the, I don't know, space tentacle monster thing. I mean, we tried catching all the fish out there and we never came across a single barrel, barrel eye. Oh wait, was that a treasure? Oh, it's just this thing. Okay, never mind. I was about to say, what? I guess a new treasure spawned there, but... Which can happen. We've seen that happen. Wow, I'm not even seeing the... The other... Do a barrel ones. roll! It's a boat. It's not a jet. There's a glow squid. You can't barrel... Close enough. You can't barrel roll a, a boat? This is a completely different kind of ship, all right? This is not the kind you can barrel roll. Oh, satisfy no, it's a barrel fish, not a barrel roll. He needs to eat its heart. He can't eat the heart of my boat. That's like the engine, and I need the engine. I need my engine in this boat. Freaking glow squid. Oh, wait, that looks like a different color. It's still just glow squid. There's got to be a trick to this that I'm not understanding. Uh oh, oh, no, no, no. Get away from me. Get you away from me, giant weird stingray fish monster thing. And 
invoking your madness upon me. No, 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 get away from me. Uh, I need to dock. If I don't dock, something bad's gonna happen to me here any second now. I'm just gonna dock and take a little nap. Just a wee bit of a nap. A little more. A little more nap. There we go. Hydrate! I don't have anything to drink. I'm out of fluids. Uh, 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 I'm cramping up! I can't go on, team. I'm cramping up. Okay. Well, let's go drop this photography stuff off before I forget what we're doing and get distracted again. Stupid barrel fish. I would have never guessed they were that rare. Like, see, this, this is relaxing. Like, just the open waters, a little wind... Music. The music's even meant to be ominous, and it's still kind of relaxing. Like this, I could do this. I could, I could do some fishing like this. I just, I couldn't do the deep sea diving. That would, that would be the one where I'd have to really like keep myself in check to be able to pull it off. Okay, so it's this island, I think. I think that's where I need to be going. Wow, I'm happy we found the photographer. I assumed they were going to be at that last location. They were going to be like a... Huh? Oh, some whales. Hello, whales. I hope you're doing okay today, whales. All right, what's that one over there? Oh, okay, that's just Ingfell. Okay. Ma'am, I have your equipment. I don't know what your camera's for, but I have it. Photographer. Ma'am. You have the lenses. Oh, I do hope they're not been damaged by the seawater. Take the cases from you and inspect each lens carefully. They seem mostly unharmed. Nothing that some careful polishing can't remedy, at least. As promised, you can take my spare camera. The lens is nothing special, but it shall allow you to capture some good shots. If you want some advice on location, locating wildlife to photographer, just say the word. Oh. Oh, okay. Tell me about mammals. Also relatively scarce, I believe a few cetaceans, the whales and such, can be found in the deeper waters around here. Might be lucky enough to spot a pod of bottlenose dolphins or killer whales. They've been known to swim along boats. As for larger whales, I have heard hunchback, sperm whales, and even the odd blue whale have been sighted in the area. It doesn't surprise me to hear that their numbers have been dwindled, but with Ingfell's whaling endeavors, hopefully their populations will recover in time. Anything else? Oh, no, I guess that's it. So, is it like a, is it a quest? Or, no, I guess not. Is this just a thing? Take a moment to compose yourself. Huh, okay, so yeah. I guess I can apparently just take a picture. An unlocked picture mode for me, I guess. Okay. Well, that's nice. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna remove it. No. Okay, so we need one thing from here. We need barrel fish from this. I still don't have... Probably have the special fish from here. The super deep abyssal fish. You might actually be able to catch it now that I have, like, abyssal equipment. Because I know part of the problem was before, I didn't have any abyssal equipment. Wait, what is that? A stonefish? I guess I've caught one of these before. Now, the problem here is going to be dealing with the monster fish. I've, 
caught those before. That thing. I don't know how I'm supposed to catch fish while dealing with it. It's coming. Eel? I guess I have caught one of these eels before. That's random metal I don't need. Would have been useful earlier. Ah, we caught one. A withered ray. Oh, okay. Those are big, though. I don't think I'll be able to fit another one. Two. Oh, I can fit one more, actually. Yeah, one more in there. Okay. Well, one more thing added to the list. I think the pontoon boat is... Oh, that's not the pontoon boat. That's just a random uh, buoy. Oh, I got the madness. Here we go. Wow, there's a lot of random abyssal stuff going on. I don't think Devil Ray is the one we need for her, right? not. Yeah, or a fish or a, a coelacanth. Because um, she even says it's got to be at Gale Cliffs. Right? $262 for what we'd had there, eh? It's actually not, not terrible. I'll take $262 for that. Ooh. Okay. Scouring bass. Okay. Oh, these are like the blackfin cod? The king... Oh, blackmouth cod. Blackmouth. Stonks? Yeah. Like, we have... Like, we've upgraded the boat fully now, right? Like... Oh, no, oh, whoa. Oh. The problem is, is I gotta figure out where... these super deep fish are gonna be. And I can... Oh, confirm, I have absolutely no idea where to look. Okay, those are devil rays. It's just random garbage. Those are eels we've seen. Because it said something about the deep still waters of the basin or whatever. Oh, actually, I haven't caught one of these. Not the abyssal version, anyway. There we go. Oh, I guess I have. Oh. I didn't think I had caught that. Coastal. Ooh, I wonder if it's behind the waterfall. Wait. Oh, it's just this. Do we think there's something behind this waterfall? Oh, there is an opening. Aha! This is it. I couldn't outrun that stupid fish, so I never noticed the waterfall. Uh. <laughs> this is a very large, a large thing. Okay. Uh. We may have too much stuff. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, that works. That works right there. Okay. Awesome. And then a treasure chest? Rotten chest sits atop a pile of rubble at the back. Too much chonks? Yeah. Look inside. Oh, a bag of stuff. Oh, no! Um. Okay, wait. Okay. And we have the piece of steel. 
Okay. It's a mimic? Oh my god, that would be amazing. It just attacks the boat and I lose like two whole damage. Alright, we found the thing we were missing. Okay, that's great. Now we can just get out of here, team. That was literally the last thing we were missing at this location. Always behind, always behind the, uh, the waterfall. Let's go, team. Let's not get hit by the water spout, please. That would probably be bad for us. Let's go drop this off with the lady. We can sell the fish. Oh, this is going so well. Bam. Ma'am? Hey, coming again for a chat? Um, about those rare fish you wanted me to find. I found an ore fish. It's great news. I'll add it to my records. Here, take this. I'm sure you'll use for it. Oh, yeah. I guess technically I will, right? What about the ore fish? Oh, what should I have right now? Awesome. Okay. $512 for all this stuff. I'll take that and put that in storage. And I think this will finish up our... Who do I have to sell this to? Oh, I think I have to sell it in shipyard, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, so I think I have... This might finish up our research? It is. It does. Nice. Okay, heavy duty net. Research nets. Research all nets. All research is now done. We've researched everything. We no longer need research points either. It's going great. We have a big bag of doubloons to sell, too. Or, I guess, well, yeah, we sell them. Bam. We're missing one more of these. Which means it's got to be the Sela camp, which, which has got to be over in the last place we have to go. Alright, so that takes care of all of that. Um... So, we have the camera. So, only thing we need now is we need one barrel barrel eye for... I think it's this island? One barrel eye for this. I don't remember why I marked this now, but I did. Oh, that's where the... That's, I think, where the mystery island comes from, comes showed up I don't remember now but yeah so we've got I think we went through these already so we've got this little area this little area and then all of the devil's spine oh you know what I don't know if I ever checked out these islands pretty sure I checked this one out before because that's just right there right yeah these little islands seem to have a lot of secrets on them I'm assuming there's probably one more cult member we've got to work with and we'll probably be done with the cult member stuff. Three is usually the correct number of things to do or whatever, so. What do we got here? Hold to a wreck with a familiar looking hole. It's almost identical to the ship you're given to the mayor, except this one has a huge breach in one side. Oh, okay, we've already done this. I think we found a package we had to deliver. I think. I think that's what happened there. Some sharks. Oh, have I not searched this? A rotten mass lays down on the island, half hidden by the foliage. The space and old boat is cracked in two. Oh. Bunch of stuff we can just sell now. Cool. Thanks. A little late, but thanks. Got uh, eels. We found eels before. And what's the... Oh! Oh, there's the blue cultist! Perfect! You approach a hooded figure swathed in dark blue robes. Their face is barely visible. Fisherman, please help. You can barely hear their was rasping whisper above the wind and waves. Fulfill the hunger. The hooded figure unhurls, unfurls a old... Oh, okay. We need a blue mackerel. Here's a blue, a blue mackerel. Luckily, those are pretty common. Um, 
That's some weird reflection going on there. I don't remember. Let me see. Uh, blue mackerel. Um. Oh, it's in the marrows. Okay. I couldn't remember exactly where those are at. Ooh, swordfish. I don't catch these very often. Because because they take up so much space. Good lord. God, that's obnoxious. Okay, but the, we'll go over here. Wait, wait, wait. What was that? That might actually be what I'm looking for. Oh, that's cod or something. It's kind of a long ways from, from the marrows for cod, though. I'm being honest with you. Oh, we went around the back way. Oh, it left! Darn it! Uh, those are squid. Let me guess, it's a daytime fish? It is a daytime fish. Fudge. Yeah, those are just squid, I think. Ooh, a bizzle something. What do we got? Ooh, that's new. An unknown green energy arcs and crackles over this fish's scales. It threshes ceaselessly even hours after being pulled from the water. A Voltic Grouper. That's... You add a Voltic Grouper to your, your sword and you get a, a lightning sword, by the way. Voltic Grouper is 100% used to make a lightning sword. Calling that now. I'm interested in seeing how the Truck Sim Kansas DLC is. Oh, yeah. We'll definitely check that out. Once we finish up with this, maybe we'll do a stream or two of that. Um, before we go to, uh, Majora's Mask. I think Majora's Mask is gonna be next up on the list. Cause we, we did, uh, uh, Le uh Ocarina of Time, of course, but I didn't want to go right into Majora's Mask, so I think we're doing two other, two or three other random things. Cause I think we did, um, Duke Nukem 3D, right? And then Dredge. We can do, uh, your, your, uh, we can do Truck Simulator. And then we can go into um, Majora's Mask. Yeah, Majora's Mask. Oh yeah, you don't buy these. Only the traveling merchant will buy this stuff for some reason. Which is quite odd to me, but whatever. It's fine. We can go across the bay. I don't want to leave yet anyway. Yeah, I'm guessing it'll be probably uh, probably around like 12 of your major cities. Maybe a couple visual landmarks or whatever. 165, nice. Okay, those we can save. Okay. Um, that's unfortunate that that dock worker got like eaten. <laughs> Or took an over or whatever. He seemed nice enough. A little shady, but not like necessarily flat out evil or anything. Okay. Okay, we just need some blue mackerel. Just a couple of blue mackerel. Perfect. Just like that. Okay, okay we're gonna need something else. I'm guessing some other kind of fish from around here. I'll bring a cod just in case. See if we can't just grab a couple of different kinds of random fish from the area. Because he's going to want three. The only other thing I can think of he might want is going to be... What is it? The... Um, what are the stingray ones that are usually over here on this one side? I think they're usually over there. We might want one of these. What is this? This is a gulf flounder. God. I doubt he's going to want a shark. They seem to prefer small fish. Yeah, they seem to prefer the small fish. Oh, eel. He might want an eel. 
Oh, I dropped the ball. He might want an eel. Shark. It's just some wood. All right. So unless this is like squid or the... That's just some shark, I think. Yeah. I don't, I, again, I don't think he's going to want the shark. So, where was he? He was, I think, out on this set of islands? I should have marked, I gotta mark it on the map. Yeah, there he is. It's just those flounder. Fill the hunger. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With expert precision, they plunge their hands through the gullet of the fish and tear out the heart. They stuff it into their mouth unceremoniously more still empty went to another shape on a second scroll this one looks like a tiger mackerel i don't have a tiger mackerel uh, cod tiger mackerel rod or trowel in the gale cliffs son of a biscuits biscuits okay um What are you? Oh, you're just a different... You just look different than the other kind of sharks. Okay. It's fine. We're right here. Just need a tiger mackerel. It's fine. Oh, come on. Come on. Just need a tiger mackerel. Just a simple tiger mackerel. One tiger mackerel, please. Snag this. But yeah, I'm guessing it'll probably for the for the uh, truck sim thing. I'm guessing it'll probably just be okay. Um, clearly, they just have very specific dietary needs and are very socially awkward. Yeah, that's all it is. Oh. Clearly. Ooh, you'll mine this for 192. You say awesome. Okay. Um, is this one? Yes? Or no? Wait, is it? Yeah, that's gotta be it. Um, but yeah, I'm guessing for the truck sim thing, it's probably gonna be like 12 major cities, a couple visual stand, like, land points, or what am I thinking of? What? Landmarks. Landmarks. In the distance that you can see at, like, all times. Something along those lines. Maybe like a couple of really specific tall or big buildings that you can see. Again, they rip into the flesh of the fish, drawing out its heart. It's consumed as quickly as the first. Almost fulfilled. They point to a fish on the final scroll. This one is a snake mackerel. A snake mackerel? That's a new one. I don't know. It says coastal. Catch with a fish or a... Okay. Where do I get a snake mackerel? Uh, oh, wait, what are we missing here? Oh, Devil's Spine. Oh, it's in the Devil's Spine. Okay. It's literally one we haven't gone to get yet in the Devil's Spine. Okay, okay. Sweet. <laughs> I guess we can head over there then. Let's see. Let me mark this uh, with this. And then, I think we need to go check out these islands. Shark. There's a little island over here. What do we got? Um, things are shaped funny, but I don't remember if we... I think we have a, uh, a Bizzle version. Yeah. Shade Ray. Uh, that work. Okay, it looks like there's nothing going on with this island, though. So, uh, looks like it's over here. A little further. Okay, it's got to be that one. <laughs> Try to avoid the madness clouds as best we can. Yeah. 
Really? Nothing out here? No cult members? No... I mean, we, I guess we know we're done with the fish, right? Oh. Oh, is this a crab monster? Yes, it is. Okay. Thought that looked a little crab monster-ish. Oh. Riding chest peeks out from the skeleton of a wrecked ship. Oh, man. Just a bunch of random stuff we don't really need anymore. I mean, the, the cash is fine. We're going to need it for boat repairs or whatever, but... Like, overall... Okay. Oh, that's just... Okay. It's over at the Gale Cliffs. Every time I, th I hear Gale Cliffs, I think of... There's an episode of Bob's Burgers where the ant um, teaches them about um, her own homemade board module called, like, the Cliffs of Gale or something like that. Or Gale Force Winds. It's called Gale Force Winds. And it's all about, uh, like, living her life and the problems she deals with. And then, uh oh, wait, what is chasing me? Uh, oh, it's the giant stingray thing. Um, wow, you are persistent. <laughs> okay, um, but, uh, it's set up so that whenever anybody gets towards the end of it, she gets to just restart the whole thing from the beginning because the gale force winds kick in and that just means she gets to kick over the board and it just destroys everything and everyone has to start over from the beginning it's so every time i hear the 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 cliffs of or gale cliffs i think of the cliffs of gale and the gale force winds ooh this is interesting looking What's that? Is that like lava? There's some kind of red glowing stone, I guess? Ooh, we got some... Oh, it's another one of these camps, okay. You undock next to... You undock next to an old robot. Rowboat. Undock? Somebody is here. He's hunched over by the campfire, muttering to himself. You cautiously approach. <laughs> yeah, basically. Did you... Did you throw it back? I don't know what you're talking about. What? The book. I think you've mistaken me for someone else. I'm, uh, I'm not seeing things. It's really you, isn't it? Uh, who do you think I am? Turns away, wringing his hands. He speaks to the fire. It was him. Him and his darned wife. They dredged up that old book. But something, something cloaked in fog followed it out right right through the boat. Boom! The man makes crude explosion noises and motions wide with his hands, still talking to the fire as though pantomiming a story to a child. It spoke. It said it was coming for our breath, that we wouldn't be needing it soon, and that the darkness crashed down. An age later, some of us washed up on the shore, and him still clutching that book. Throw it back, we cried as the fog rolled ashore. We thought, surely, it can still be undone. What book? Silver and crimson, the book covered in her covered in her blood. Doesn't make any sense. Throw it back. Man closes his eyes tight as he he holds back tears. His voice falls to a whisper. Please, the lighthouse keeper. She saw. She knows where it came from, where it where it needs to go. Tell me more about this book. Silver and crimson. Silver and crimson. He rocks back and forth, staring through the through the flames. Uh, what do you know about the fog? It cloaks the. The calamitous thing. It's evil. Haven't you felt it? Uh, what does the lighthouse keeper have to do with this? She saw it all. That ruinous day. Ask her, Becker, tell her I... Oh, the old mayor. Oh, okay. They said he died, right? Oh, no. He went crazy and then disappeared. That's right. He went crazy and then disappeared. He trails off, his face collapsing in sorrow. Okay. I see. Okay, well, I can help as best I can, friendo. 
What do we got over here? Ooh, treasure. What do we got? Uh, a gold doubloon. A single doubloon. Nothing on this side. Oh, something slid in the cargo. Ooh, you're new. Ooh. Nice. What are you? An armored sea robin. A small fish with angular armored plates. It's sensory barbs under its body that helps detect prey on the seabed. Well, I can catch one more. Nice. A sickly stench rises from your cargo hold. What? Oh, it's spreading. Quickly, I guess. Oh. Yeah, there's lava down there. And a statue of, like, the cultist kind of looking. Oh, nice. There's the boat. There's there's the pontoon. The ponton. Oh, it's all full of... Oh, it's like a Pompeii thing. Oh, that's what they're doing. They're doing a Pompeii thing. Ah. It's like a sunken old city. It's a Pompeii. That's why there's lava. Okay, that's cool. I like that a lot. That's that's nifty. Mm. I'll try and pay attention to how deep the water is. Not every type of fish check if you're not sure. Um, I think I, you can have all this. I hope I don't need it. And then... Ow. Oh, and then you can also have uh, that for five bucks, I guess. Put this stuff in the storage. Um, oh yeah, we're maxed out on speed now. Guess we can drop these crab pots since we're going to be here for a little bit. Oh, and a note. Wow, is the, the sun setting? Oh, what is that? Uh, hello? A what? What are those? What are you? What am I supposed to do about that? What was that? What was this place? Some kind of ancient civilization must have lived here. Judging by the state of the buildings, things did not go so well for them. I can't imagine they built all this around an active volcano, so the volcano must have come active sometime after they founded the city. I guess that's the volcano causing the leave or wipe them out one way or the other. All in all, it's a pretty inhospitable place. I'm not really sure why I come here. Is there anything else you want to talk about? No? Other than what the, what were those crazy monster fish, please? Oh yeah, they're still over there. Okay, so I guess that's the monster of this area is those weird... Ye old weird, uh... There's plenty of crab here, you say. Okay. Oh, there's some over there, too. How am I supposed to do anything here with these weird monster fish? This is insane. Maybe I have to use... The, um... new species. That's a cusk eel. A miserable looking eel often found hiding in cracks and crevices. Okay. I believe you. I wonder if I have to use the dispenser power. The one that lets me get rid of like random evils or whatever. Oh, you're new. Oh, you are huge. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, this is nighttime, by the way. I guess because of all the lava and, like, the smoke, it stays brown like this. That wood. Treasure. I mean, the treasure is nice, just, you know, so we have repair money. Oh, there's like a 
a thing over here? There's a dock. A man meets you as, as you dock, bracing himself against the wind and spray. Oh, rapturous day, a fresh disciple carried to me atop the waves. Come ashore, weak thing, and rest your weary soul. Uh, all right. Your rival is a pro providence for the, from the deep itself. I have been calling, and now you are the answer. The rite of purification and at hand, and you are to be my replacement. I'm listening? Your trial begins immediately. Tell me, what does your spirit seek? Uh, happiness? Ha! Merely an excuse to halt the search for something greater. Happiness is, by definition, a compromise. And your flesh? What does it crave? Uh, the sting of the salt. Pain is a trick of the flesh. Do not surrender to it. Finally, what does the world deserve? Everything? In a way, it deserves all that is washed ashore. Freely given from the deep, but no more than that. The trial is concluded. You still have much to learn, but that knowledge... That's a crackhead. <laughs> I mean, he's a little... Ex he's, he might be a little... A little, a little, uh, uh, enthusiastic. The trial's concluded. You still have much to learn, but the no that knowledge will be delivered to you in time. Now, your role as my initiate is to act as the herald of the purge, just as I was for the one before me. The nearby spires blaze with eternal fire, yet the stone hearths of these three idols lie barren and void. Retrieve three fathomless flames from the crags behind us. Is this a five o'clock free crack giveaway? No, there's nothing free about this. You have to work for it free crack giveaway for the crags behind us and ignite the crucibles is it the shrines of the deep i will mark them they will offer further guidance and i must pr provide no more okay fanatic statues which statues do you want to look at the left one the statue holds stone crucible it's empty okay so we're looking for stuff to put in the statues uh, stone columns. The stone columns of the temples are carved with ancient pictures and texts. Which carvings do you want to look at? The swarm of small creatures. Carvings show a swarm of small fish surrounding a boat. The ravenous children. Alone they are nothing. Together they summon her. Beneath these words, somebody has added a crudely scratched note. Do not let them grip you. Burn them away. The stone columns of the temple are carved with ancient pictures and texts. The large eyeless beast. Carvings of a large fish with crossed out eyes. The unseeing mother. When the starving cannot eat, she approaches. Beneath these words, somebody has added a crudely scratched note, scratched note. Blind, but can hear her children. Avoid at all costs. So I'm calling... So no head? No head. No, she has no eyes. She has a head, no eyes. The bubbling vent. The, car the craving show shows a bubbling underwater vent. The breath of salvation. It burns those that mean harm. Only pure remain. Beneath these words, somebody has added a cruelly sketched note. Protection. Follow the magma. Find them. Okay. So we got to find the items I'm assuming the statues want um, by staying on top of the magma pools so that the fish won't follow me. Which is something. Does this hurt me? No. Okay, so yeah, I guess I got to go over those to dissuade the fish from, like, tracking me. I'm guessing that's what we're doing. Uh, I prefer you not do that, please. 1st of June, 1927. Oh, God. Okay. We're just sucking up all that madness, huh? Can we just not suck up all the madness, please? Let's come to dock and sleep. I'm not exactly happy about it, but I don't want to be insane right now either. God, that is bright. Ugh, I don't like how bright that is. All right, what does this say? Oh, we have a bunch of stuff. Messages, okay. His day was the reading of his mother's will. Most of the remaining estate went directly to him, of course. But to my surprise, she bequeathed me her pocket watch. Curious, I'm not fond of the thing, but I know that taking it will mean a lot to him. I cannot help but feel it was some veiled jab at me for beyond the grave. She was the type to do such a thing. Was I late on some occasion? I cannot recall. Okay, message, pursuits. Light the statues. I docked at the old temple in Devil's Spine and was approached by some sort of fanatic. He wants me to help preparing a ceremony. I need to light the statues around the temple. Apparently I can find fathomless flames at the shrines of the deep in the area. Okay. Map. 
Oh, okay, he marked them. It's nice of him. Oh, there's another thing over here. <laughs> I'm in danger. I am 100% in danger. You are not wrong. And we need a snake mackerel. Okay. So there's another location over here, apparently. What do we got? Oh, it's just those eels. It's trying to be on the lookout for... Why do those look like sharks? See, that looks like a shark, not an eel. This... I think that's the armored thing. Wait, this isn't a... Sh no, that's a frilled shark. Oh, it's a frilled shark? That's what they're calling that? I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one, team. They're calling that a frilled shark, huh? Oh. I think we've had one. This is a ghost shark, I think? Yeah, that's a ghost shark. We've seen those other places. And we needed one for the shark shrine. That's what she said! Is this a... Okay, this is a madness stone. What? Okay, madness stone over here next to whatever that is. Uh, marker. Uh, I'll just put that, I think, on it for now. What's this? The same thing. Okay, some of those weird monster fish are over there. Oh, it's a cave. Safe haven. Visit every dock in the module. Oh, okay, nice. Cave. The dim light of the cave, you can make out some paintings on both walls. Check the left wall. These paintings depict the birth of a civilization. A great beacon of light is shown repelling a tentacled figure merging from the sea. Hey, we know one of those. In the dim light of the cave, you make out the sound, out some paintings on both walls. Right wall. These paintings depict the fall of a civilization. A volcanic eruption tears through a tall lighthouse. Monstrous shapes devour people as buildings turn to ruin. Okay. Well, that happened. Ancient lighthouse. Oh. You climb the many steps. Oh, look, you can see the monster fish over there. You climb the many steps leading up to the ancient lighthouse. At its base is a solid stone door. You cannot see a handle, but there's a large socket carved in the face of the door. Oh, I don't have whatever this is. Okay. Well. Presumably that's what we're going to get when we finish lighting the torches. Or whatever. Okay, I bet this is... Is that an ice skate? That almost legitimately looks like an ice skate. Uh, Ponda break can be cleared. Do I have any explosives? I don't have any with me. Fudge. Fudge! Oh, the fish. Okay, the fish are right there. Just trying to figure out... There's a little entrance there. I don't, maybe I can, what I, I'm guessing what it is is it'll chase me. And then when they chase me, if I lead them to one of those um, uh, like underground, underwater vents, they'll get damaged and then leave me alone for a little while. Treasure, ah. Wow, this is a long one. Oh, it's a ring. And then it looks like we have another one of these. Oh, we're not even on the island. That's weird. Okay. There's another marker for that. More treasure. Oh, I'm being attacked by a thing. Oh, and that's the mother fish. Uh, okay. Oh, there's another shrine inside of there. 
But I gotta blow a thing open. Okay. That's fine. So yeah, they won't come too close to the the the, the sea vents. Interesting. Okay. Looks like there's a few of these we can blow open. That other one would probably be the better one, though. Um, have I caught a abyssal one of these? I had not. A wrapped shark. Grinning maw turned upwards to the sky, wing-like fins ready to take flight. It's like translucent. Oh, why is this one glowing? This one must be super important. It is... Oh, it's a stone tablet. An ancient stone tablet bearing a strange glyph. Maybe the trader at Little Marrow knows something about this. Oh, it's a, a, it's a, it's a quest item. Interesting. See, I thought these were going to injure me. Oh, there's the ceiling camp right there. Okay. Dang, that one's not even subtle, eh? Oh, we can just come get that. We'll just do that right now. Wow, I need a lot of explosives for this area. Like a lot, a lot. Dang. I can't believe she hangs out around here. This place is super dangerous. Oh, look at those absolute nightmares. Oh. Something saw me. Luckily, this is like on top of this. Wow, okay. Uh, let's take a... Oh my god, they're huge too. Oh my god. Alright. What a nightmare. Okay, what are... What are these things? So we got the squat lobster covered in tiny bristles and spines. This creature is thought to be blind. They pr process toxins spewed from hypothermal vents. Spider crab, a freakishly huge crab from the depths. Yeah, yeah. That's about right. Um, $387 though, let's go. Put that away for now. I don't think I need repairs, do I? No. Uh, volcanic snail. Hefty beast lives around hypothermal vents. Its foot is coated in hundreds of iron plates, which means you could catch this n snail with a magnet. Oh. Interesting. More of the same. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Unfortunately for the pigment thing, we need abyssal ones. We don't need the regular ones. And none of these have been abyssal. But I do need... Oh, I don't have any explosives left in my storage? Fudge. I know she's got some. Ah, uh, she's only got one, though. Alright, we can go get the Sela camp so we can finish that quest up, I guess. It's back over here. Oh, I don't really need the madness right now, please. No! Pile debris is colored by. Sh Could be cleared to make a shortcut. Use explosives. Packed explosives removed for inventory. Bam. And go get the gigantic Sela camp. Bam. One Sela camp. Legendary, thought to be extinct, and then suddenly wasn't Sela camp. That's a real fish. I don't know if it's spelled the same way or pronounced that way in one way or the other, but Yo, I got your weird I got your weird ancient fish. Okay. You can come for a chat. Uh the fish you wanted. I found a coelacanth. 
It's great news. I'll add it to my records. Here, take this. I'm sure you'll find some use for it. I will not. I'll just sell them literally back to you. That's that's all of them. Wow. I never thought I'd complete these records. Is there anything else you want to talk about? No, not really. How much is this worth? 256 bucks on its own. Let's go. Uh, shipyard. I'm going to sell these back. $195 a pop. Or $192 a pop, I should say. This is fantastic. All right, but we do need... We need a lot more explosives. What time is it? 6.53? We can go make a... Maybe do an explosives run? Where are we? I'm trying to think, where's the explosives guy? I think it's just directly south of here. Why does that zoom in and out so slow? Yeah, he's just, he's down here. So I think I should be able to buy some from him. Wait, did we find out what... Oh yeah, that's just the cave. That's right, that's right. Oh. This is very hard to navigate with this. With this super fast boat. Oh, we got a, a gold chalice. Or goblet, I guess. A large goblet covered in what appears to be a thin veneer of gold leaf. I don't know if I'm doing this correctly, but... A stone shrine. An up... Right slab bears a carving. Two heavily plated creatures. Oh! I've got to bring it crab? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Well, I have my crab pods down. That's good. Man. Okay, I'm going to need one of these. And one of those. Perfect. Just like that. Thank God I left my crab pots down. It's already sketchy enough trying to sneak in here around those fish. Okay. The box puts on that almighty crack. It crumbles. Oh. A fathomless flame. A silver plate. Another goblet. A piece of wood we don't need, and a research point we don't need. All right, thanks. Okay, cool, thanks. That's real nifty of you. Ow. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> it's fine. Sure, we can get it repaired. Okay, um... Sell that, and we sell that for five bucks. We can all go into storage, as can that for now. Wow, we have a lot of treasure, and we gotta figure out what this is for. Okay, cool. Um, so we got one. I need like, f I'm gonna grab probably five explosives. Let's go do that. I think we checked out this island, right? Oh, I don't remember now. I think we, we checked that out on the way in, though. Okay. Okay, so... Yes, we checked this one out. It had the statues, it had the mayor. And it has some wood we don't need. Wow. It's not like the song died in the middle of it playing. Like the jukebox just died. That was interesting. Alright, let's go talk to... Let's go talk to the lighthouse keeper and see what the last little bit of this story is, eh? don't know if I've seen this one. I don't remember. 
I don't think I've, I've touched this one. That's fine. We can throw, um... Um... One of these on it. We still haven't found that stupid thing that the guy wants. I don't know if it's a daytime thing or if it's a nighttime thing, but... I think the only thing, when we, by the time we get done with this... I think the only thing we won't have probably finished is all of the... The paint colors. I really don't care to, like, try to fish all the abyssal sh um, crab for the uh, painter guy. Like, that's just ominous, or, like, tedious, right? Ominous. It's super ominous. It's just tedious. Because, I mean, what am I going to do at this point? Like, it's not like I'm getting any story out of painting my boat, right? Or at least it doesn't seem to indicate we're going to get story from painting the boat. If we actually do, that would be kind of wild, but... Grabbing all the cod we can get. Fashion lore? That would be really interesting if they implemented something like that. So easy to catch squid. That is so easy. Okay. We'll sell this. We'll talk to the lighthouse keeper. We'll call her there, team. I'm going to go drink something and take some meds <laughs> and hope that I wake up not feeling terrible. All right. Um, fishmonger. Fishmonger! I have $318 and one cents worth of fish for you. Take that, fishmonger. Um, all right, my housekeeper. What is it? What do you know about the silver and crimson book? She shudders at the very mention of the book. What's wrong? Oh, uh, I, I'm pretty sure I'm catching like a cold's coming on. Like, I feel like I might have a light fever and my throat's very, very sore. And it's been sore like since like right after the stream started. <laughs> That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Woo! <laughs> Get well soon. Thank you. Hopefully it's like really mild and it's gone within a day. I really can't afford to be sick right now. Like the next three days basically are going to be incredibly physically demanding of me. And I don't want to have to be sick while also doing it, you know? Um, But here, let's find out about this book. She shudders at the very mention of the book. You're really asking me? After all this time, you knew it must be returned. She looks at you with deep pity. You have to move on, for her sake as well as yours. Take control. Be rid of that thing once and for all. What? I don't have a book. I don't... So I must look just like someone they know, right? That must be what they're setting up? Let's see. Light the statues. Visit the traitor. An ancient... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We can do this right now, too, before I forget. This way we're just getting all the lore set up for next week. Since the Devil's Spine seems to be legitimately, like, requiring a lot of action. <laughs> what, is, what does Scooby-Doo have to do with this? Uh, welcome. I found a thing. Um, how do I present this to you. Uh, hello, what can I do for you today? Oh, show him this, the tablet. Here takes the stone tablet for you and inspects it closely, turning it over in his hands. Remarkable. Yes, I do believe this is a fragment of a larger arrangement. It reaches up to a high shelf and brings down a similar looking stone, albeit one covered with much more dust. Some years ago, I acquired this other piece. You found this near those ruins in Devil's Spine, didn't you? Yes. Ah, well, I suspect there will be more out there. I'll hold on to this one for now and study it further while you search for the other fragments. In the meantime, do you have any trinkets for me to appraise? I think I do. Yes. 66, 38, 38, 60, 16, 33, 60, 50, and 22 for an old pair of broken glasses. 
A cold, unnatural flame. Dark shapes swirl and flicker inside. Hey, Ika, do we know anybody who might be researching an old uh, rune or something? Maybe to determine what its, what its relevance is to the, the current uh, party members? Do we know anybody like that? Do we know any potentially older people who research magical stuff? Hmm? 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 Okay. I think that'll that'll probably wrap her up, team. That's a good, I think, a good place. Um, Devil's Spine. We're still missing this mackerel that we're the, this, yeah, this thing we need. Oh, they have a, some kind of ray there. Okay. Oh, it's volcanic. That makes sense. And we're missing some kind of small ocean fish, I guess. A mouse of cinder, perhaps? Indeed. And whatever this thing is, from it's fishing at night in the open ocean. Okay. I mean, I would say we've caught the majority of the fish. Oh, uh, we don't have a mutated cod yet, really. Or a mutated eel? Huh. The mutated swordfish isn't surprising because those are a gigantic pain in my butt to catch. We need mutated sharks. We, just, we don't even have a mutated crab yet? We haven't found a single one of the mutated crabs. Dang, that's weird. I caught a lot of those crabs. I'm surprised. Our crab pots have been doing the work. I'm shocked that we have not caught more of those. Ooh, we didn't get a mutated jellyfish either. Okay. So we got some stuff we could do if we really wanted to like 100% this. All right, I think that, that that works out real well for us, team. Sunfish? Is that, oh, like it's real name? Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's lots of, lots of these are like made up names at this point. One of the missing ones, yeah, that makes sense. Um, let's see, normal, oh, what's the, oh yeah, here's the passive mode. When a passive mode is enabled, monsters will not target the player. Scary random events will not spawn. So there's the passive mode if you just want to play through this for the story, too. Which I appreciate. That, that's nice of them. Not everything needs to be Dark Souls, right? Some things can be Dark Souls. Not everything needs to be Dark Souls. Confirm. Oh. Play it for just the fishing? Yeah. You completely can play it that way. Of course, all the lurkers. Thank you. You have the Twitch world go round. I always appreciate you. Anybody who checks the VODs here on Twitch, checks the VODs on the YouTube repository. Thank you. Seeing those numbers help keep me motivated. Um, if you need a well thought out solution, you need a thinking solution. Raven Hillbrook Inc. Thinking Solutions. I think that's about got it, team. I'm going to go try to medicate myself so that my cold doesn't get worse. And hopefully it's a quick recovery, like two days, and I'm feeling better again. Um, but yeah, I think, I think that'll be it. Ika, you have a good evening. Zet770, you have a good one. Anybody else who's here, I hope you have a good whatever you're up to. Yeah, that'll be it for me, everyone. I hope to see you all back on Thursday for hopefully... The fully functioning Codelica, because I am enjoying it. I really want to see where four CDs worth of stuff goes to. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for me, team. Um, yeah. Bye!